Hello and welcome to the Bane Picks video for the Golden State Warriors at Chicago Bulls this Friday night. I'm your host, Matthew Amal for Lamps.com, here with my resident NBA experts, Drew Norton and Jason Gilbo. Just a quick shout out to New York. You have online sports betting. We now have DraftKings, FanDuel, Bet Rivers, and Caesars all live with BetMGM coming on Monday. You can check out the links in the description to get all the information, best promo codes, best reviews, guides um, for those New York online sports books. So Warriors, Bulls, this one, uh, not sh sure why it got flexed to primetime. Like, it makes sense. These are two great teams. Maybe that makes sense. But it's been a while now that Kerr has said this game is going to be a rest game for the Warriors. Um, which turns it into a difficult one to predict. Uh, Drew, four-point spread. I assume you're going with the Bulls with all the news coming out of Golden State. Jay, are you taking a spread on this one? I'll take, I'll take the spread on this Okay. One. Well, okay. Drew doesn't uh, want to talk about the spread, so Jason's <laughs> going to do it. I want it. no part Drew of this. Drew might be a little hurt from taking the Warriors spread last night, so yeah. right, you know, I understand. <laughs> um, you know, I'll, I'll echo kind of what I thought, you know, what was going to happen yesterday and kind of say the same thing for today. Um, and now it's even worse, you know, Clay Thompson out, which, um, you know, they did a pretty good job kind of controlling their outside perimeter game yesterday. I think the bulls can do a similar thing for whoever's starting here tonight, you know, probably going to see Kuminga and Moody, um, you know, Gary Payton's going to be out. So that's a guy who started last night and pushed, you know, Wiggins to the floor. Um, Clay Thompson's going to be out for rest. We know that already. And I was talking before, like, we think there's a possibility that Kirk could just pump this game all together um, and just kind of rest Curry because Curry needs the rest. And his shooting numbers in January have been horrendous. Um, his free throw numbers have been down, which really shows that he's just tired um, and gassed. And I think they're going to start to use some of these opportunities to rest these guys. So Minus four is a good number right now. Um, Chicago's not banged up. They have a lot of guys that I think it's a massive starting advantage on their, their starting five over the Warriors right now. Um, not having Draymond, I mean, he's listed as questionable, but, you know, from what I've seen, it's more on the doubtful side for this game. And even if he does play, it's not – I'm not really stressed that much. Um, I think Chicago, Levine, DeRozan, Vucevic, especially down low. Lonzo Ball is actually one of the better on-ball defenders. I think he can kind of – make a, a difficult night for Curry. Um, so minus four for me here at home, Chicago, where they've been tremendous all year. I, I actually think it's a bargain. Um, I thought this game was going to be more like six, six and a half, seven, even um, just after this play last night, I think Chicago also bounces back from that. That's loss that they had. I don't see the Warriors bouncing back just with the team that's out there right now and kind of their recent form. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I could go on a giant rant right now about load management and how the NBA complains about it and maybe they should do something about their schedule, but won't get into that. Drew, over, under on points. How are you feeling there? So I'm at the under right now, 223. It's just too many points. Both of these teams just got smacked in their last game. So I think the motivation to lock down on defense is going to be at an all-time high. Um, the Warriors are going to struggle to score at times, truthfully. No Clay, no Draymond. We already talked about how Draymond's one of the best four-on-three players in the middle of the floor in the, in the whole game. And no Gary Payton. I know he's not a great offensive player. He's more of a defensive player. But these are all guys who've, you know, garnered starts, obviously, and are all contributors. Steph is, Steph is tired. He's shooting tired right now. And I think most analysts would would suggest that he get some uh, nights rest nights here sooner versus later. I don't know why Kerr hasn't just gone ahead and, and given him a rest night for this second night of a back to back. But I don't see this ending well for Golden State. I think Lonzo Ball guarding guarding you on the second night of a back to back is probably not the most ideal situation. So. I don't see Golden State getting over 105, 107 points. And then I think, you know, Chicago is probably going to go for about, you know, 110, 112, something in that ballpark. I think Chicago does cover. I think it'll be probably like a six, seven point game. But I don't see this game going over 223. I just don't. I just don't see that happening. 
You guys are a lot more confident in the Warriors than I am after last night's performance. I just think you, you look at last night, and yeah, I can understand coming back motivated, but they're just going to be worse. I mean, Curry didn't play a whole lot, but if he's already tired and it's a back-to-back, -back, no Clay, no Draymond. I mean, the, everyone's going to be somewhat tired. Um, they've played a ton of basketball recently. I just I don't see how they're going to put up points. Um they're going to expend a lot of energy on defense. Yeah, Jason? Yeah, to be clear, we're not confident in the Warriors. Okay. That's, yeah, that's no, what we're saying. Like, yeah, we're, yeah, I, we're well, over, I'm, I'm saying like, Bulls, so. I don't think it's a 6-7 point. I think this is a 15-20 point game. Like, I don't think this is ever going to be in doubt. Um, the Warriors are not, even when they're good, they don't come out that great in the first quarter. Um, so they're probably going to be down the entire game, and I think it's just going to it's gonna build. There's going to be no magical third quarter in this one. So I, I'm picturing it kind of like 115-100. I agree, though. I still like the under. I just don't think it's going to be single-digit spread. I think it's going to be double-digit. And that's why I'm kind of surprised it's only minus four, not like minus seven or six. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I was responding to Drew's comments about the six to seven point win, win margin. Okay, Jason? All right. We don't have any player props. And I'm kind of sick of looking at Jason's mustard yellow sweatshirt. So I think that's going to be a wrap <laughs> on this one. Um, you got to do 10 videos with me today, man. Yeah. So you're going to see it all day. <laughs> um, only thing I want to shout out really quick is, A, right now it looks like Caesar's letting me edit the text on their page. Don't know what this is about. But B, <laughs> but B, come on, Looney points. Drop down in the comments what it ends up being because we don't have player props. We probably won't have them until right before game time. That's our prop, baby. I want to see what it comes in at, um, if it's reasonable, and if you're getting value. Because I do believe Kevon Looney will have another solid 6-7 to seven point game like he always does. It's going to wrap it up for this one. Sorry about being shorter. I know we just talked about the Warriors for 20 minutes and then they get blown out. So we're just going to keep it shorter for this blowout. Um... You can always click the subscribe and the bell to get notified when our videos go up. If you like this one, drop a like. If you do not, a dislike. Comment down below your favorite bets. And don't forget about New York Online Sports Betting Launch. Find those links in the description. See you for your next one very soon.